A couple of years ago, I found myself in the emergency room. I thought that I was absolutely about to have a heart attack. and then there's always something else in our life that we're working on and so we don't so queen you have the power you have the power to decide that you want to live a different life welcome back to part two of episode three of empowering queens tv I'm your host, Jaquesa D. Dean, here with our co-host, Simone Elbow, the, limit, the Limitless Life Coach, along with our special guest, Felicia Burrows, first runner-up in the Miss Bahamas Plus beauty pageant. And so, ladies, as you think about the life that you live today and your careers, perhaps over the last five or ten years, can you think of whether you've still been bullied as an adult in any of your corporate environments, or if not your corporate environments, it's social environments that you may have been in? Oh, absolutely. It's it's ongoing. Okay. You know, um, and like I mentioned to you, the comments that I've gotten about um, size and career progression, yes. um, just size in general, how you look in your clothes, things like that. I mean, that's something that has happened again recent times that's nothing that was in my past okay. and so you just have to really get a very strong sense of self mm -hmm. um, and understand and embrace who you are understand your limitations and what you need to work on but not to beat yourself up and to, to act in self-hatred mm -hmm. and to, to not shine because of how other people perceive you and, and how far they think you can go, okay. you know, um, and, and how they think you should look. Okay. Yeah. What about I you? definitely agree with Simone. It's still an issue. Well, not more an issue for me, but I look at it in a way where what people say is not really a reflection of me, but it's a reflection of who they are and the way they think. So maybe they need to evolve in terms of their thinking and the way that they look at society and people in general. Maybe they're more closed-minded and they need more experience. So you, uh, Black Cheryl once said that you can't really fault people for what they say because it just shows you how experienced and how much exposure they have had in their lifetime so like because yes. definitely because based on our experiences that's how we channel through life and that's how we view life yeah. yeah so because of that you really have to be like you say get a grab a hold of self and understand one one thing for me that works is affirmations Great. so i tell myself that i'm beautiful i'm bold i'm courageous yes. and i can do anything that i, I aspire it. to do and because of that, I was able to do things like go on a stage in a swimsuit, right. go to the beach Child without pants on. Right. You <laughs> I love Telling it. You. And just embrace yeah. all of my curves and all of who I am because yeah. I realized that, yes, like you said previously, your body is one aspect of who you are, but there's so much more to me. Yeah. And me covering up my skin yeah. is me hiding a part of who I am yes. fully. Yes. So I embrace it. Yes. And the thing is that no matter the size, no matter if a woman is a size 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 30, it doesn't really matter. Every woman struggles with something. Definitely. There's something about them that oh, yeah. they wish could be enhanced. Mm -hmm. There's something about them that they have a lot of insecurities about. Mm -hmm. And so regardless of the size, we all struggle mm -hmm with something yeah. and as you think about plus size women and helping them to become more confident and to own who they are whether they are in transition because of a medical situation whether they're in a situation because they're overeating because of an emotional situation whether they've just always been deliciously full size 
<laughs> what would be some of your recommendations on how they can build their confidence and really own who they are? Well, the first thing for me is always, you know, I always go with my limitless stuff, yeah. right? But it, 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 you got to start with the belief. You have to start with how you see yourself. And what are the things that you have accepted that doesn't belong to you? Wow. <laughs> wow. Right? So because somebody called you names, mm -hmm. is that who you are? Wow. And so we have to address that because I've heard where people have maybe had their stomach tucked, um, they lose the weight, but they still have the hang-ups. Oh, wow. So they're still acting like a full-figured person. Mm -hmm in a slim body wow. because it's about mentality wow. it's about beliefs it's about habits it's wow. about emotions and wow. so um i've worked with people who um coaches i mean i've had coaches that really fire me <laughs> you know with these wellness coaches and stuff because it, it is it begins with the formation of the habits and what you're ready to commit to yes. and so if you don't start there nothing's ever going to change so you have to start there. And that's when you understand, when you can stand in a mirror naked and look at yourself <laughs> and not cringe mm -hmm. and just embrace who you are because people are attracted to confidence. Yes. And it is so, so appealing. it is very appealing yes. and it makes you look different. Yes. You know, and so when you can do that and then you can move about and say, hey, this is me and I like me, not in a bad way. You know, but in a way that says, hey, I'm comfortable and right. I'm okay. I'm not exactly where I want to be mm -hmm. because I would love to lose X amount of weight. Right. But why do you want to lose that yes. weight? You know, do you want to be healthier or do you just want to, I want to nab that guy. I want right. to be that person that they look at me twice and all of this other stuff. What is it really about? Okay. And so you can be confident once you are aware of who you are. Just own it. And I would encourage people who are full figured to find things that complement your figure. Yes. And I think that helps your confidence too. Find your colors that really work with you and rock those colors. Find, you know, the clothes that will really complement yeah. your figure. And sometimes, you know, as plus figured people get criticized as we try to wear some things that we should. <laughs> We maybe shouldn't wear, yes. but we can still find things that we look still super sexy. Yes. Um, and still we are, are covering what needs to be covered, exposing what needs to expose, and still looking and complimenting our figure. And all of that helps in our self-image and, and our right. self-esteem and our confidence and how we move about when something can fit well yes. and it falls well yes. and you look good in it. Yeah. You know, there's mm -hmm. some outfits that I have that I wish I could wear every day. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel it fits well and I look good in it, I feel good in it. Nice. And so you just find more things like that to wear and to compliment. I mean, I hate to hear this comment when people say, oh, you big, but you beautiful. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. what is that? Once you say that butt, that but, cancel out. Like, exactly. Yeah. Big butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and you're just beautiful. I'm like, beautiful. You're, you're, saying you're beautiful. Right. And so and what I love about what you said, because I want I want full frigate women to know that slim women do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. They find their colors. They find their shape, the shapes of the clothes that fall mm -hmm. well to their sh their form. They they do through trial and error come exactly. into their own fashion, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. And so doing that as a plus size woman doesn't diminish you. No. It, it's something that every woman does. Yes. Like I know my hairstyles. Mm -hmm. Usually mm -hmm. one. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I, I cut it off. <laughs> I know my hairstyles. I know my colors. I know that when I wear red, I will pop. Oh yeah. I know my colors. That's your color. And so there's no shame in that. There's no shame in looking at what really accentuates you and what brings mm -hmm. you out and what, what colors really make your skin glow and yes. what makeup naturally enhances exactly. who you are. Yeah. So those are excellent tips. Yeah. So what about you, Felicia? Are there any suggestions? In addition to that, I would really say find out who you are. Because you can put on nice clothes, you can do all sorts of things. But like you say, confidence is something that just naturally shows and it does make you look different. So I would say find yourself, teach yourself, find out what it is that yes. you like and yes. don't like. And when you begin to discover who you are and who you are becoming, then you would be able to do and feel more comfortable and confident who wow. you are and 
what you will become so it's all about having that self-awareness and being able to journey with yourself because when you find out your boundaries when you find out who you are then you're able to channel through life better you're able to deflect a lot of negative comments Mm -hmm. because they will come you're able to stand tall and be able to say this is who i am whether you like it or not so that's something that i carry with myself i date myself i get to know myself and you will always find out new things about yourself so keep on the discovering and just embrace you i love that that. that's awesome and so I want to talk about love life for just a moment. Yeah. Uh, because listen, there are some guys who are just oh, into yeah. really confident, sexy, plus size women. Oh, yes. There are some guys who will not date a woman who is below a certain size. Yes. And so there's someone for everyone. <laughs> there's someone for the small lady. There's someone for the, for the average lady. There's someone for the plus size lady. And so when it comes to being loved as a full-size woman, what do you look for? What are the attributes that you look for? And what are some of the things that you wish people would see in you without you having to go to the extra effort of showing that you are decent, that you are lovable? Like, what are some of those things? You looking at me? Why are you looking at me? I look at the two of you. I'm just like just looking. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for me, first and foremost, I would want someone to see me, that essence that I talked about, that that person, my spirit, my my personality, and who I am as a person, um, the values and the things that I believe in and that are important to me, and not just my body, yeah, or not just who they think I am, yeah, because I find a lot in this dating scene. That people, um, they judge you and they create a reality around you that is not you. Wow. And so they have a lot of assumptions. They'll say, well, oh, you're a strong woman. You don't need anybody or you uh, you, want to control men. And I'm like, you you don't even know me. (laughs) That's not even my personality. You know, anybody who knows me knows that I am very easy going. Like what you see is what you get. But people create this persona from like how you say how they channel through like their filter. Yes. And so sometimes you're right. People will deflect maybe what they feel. And so they feel like, well, I can't touch her. Or they would make certain assumptions about me. Okay. Um, or it's just about the body. Yeah. And it's just about sex, yes. actually. Mm-hmm. And it, it's diminishing. Mm-hmm. And so you would want someone who's going to be respectful of who you are as a person and take the time to, to get to know who I am and don't judge me yes. uh, based on who you think I am or following my page mm-hmm. or looking at my pictures right. or looking at the people that I'm hanging out with. Or because, oh, wow, I'm on a TV show right. that I'm a certain type of person. You don't know. Yes. You know, Definitely. I'm trying to be an authentic person every single day. Yeah. I'm not putting on airs. This is who I am all the time. And so I would want for someone to give me the respect of um, getting to know who I am and seeing me for who I am in its totality. Okay. Yeah. Well, what about you, Felicia? <laughs> Well, Simone, you're definitely correct. Um, a lot of guys, they do form a perception of you, and when they get that strong character, that person, that confident woman who they see as unapproachable, they begin to shy off. Wow. But what I say is if they can't handle the pressure of a confident woman, then they're really. they really, they're not <laughs> up to standard to be able to handle or be able to compliment a confident yes. woman. Mm-hmm. Because I know me, for example, I'm very confident and I own who I am. And I know that it took a journey for me to get there. So if you can't handle that, then I'm sorry, but you're not the one. Yes. And I mean, guys... I was always shapely, always plus size. (laughs) So I could recall moments walking home and guys just trying to, you know, hit on you. Mm -hmm. But a teacher told me that you don't be mean to them. You be nice. So you say, no, thank you. You be nice. Because they could 
pull you in their car right. and rape you. Right. So mm-hmm. that is a very real thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So because of that, I learned to be nice, mm-hmm. but also be nice and strong. Yeah. So mm-hmm. my no means no. Right. Um, also, when in terms of dating, um, I always had this external way that you should look. But as of recently, I learned that personality is more important so yes you have to be easy on the eyes (laughs) but personality what do you bring to the table Mm -hmm. what how are you complimenting me because Mm -hmm. i know that i have so many dreams aspirations and i know that i'm going places so i don't want you to drag me behind i want us to soar together so it's not so much about them liking my shape my size of course you have to be comfortable with who i am Mm -hmm. if i gain weight or lose weight you have to be comfortable with who i am and and you being comfortable with who i am it has to go beyond my looks because i know that i'm beautiful i know that i have a lot to offer but what can you do to compliment me beyond what everyone else can see Can I be my complete self around you? Mm -hmm. Am I comfortable with you? Things like that is what Mm -hmm. makes the difference. Yeah, and I found, I don't know if you found this, but I found that some guys feel that when you're plus size, that you're desperate. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. That, you know, you will accept anything or any type of treatment that you're always eager to please and all of this stuff because you are rejected Mm -hmm. and off in the corner and nobody wants you. And so people tend to treat you like that. Sometimes. Or you should be happy that you should be oh, actually happy. interested. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's very interesting dialogue. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, my eyes have been so <laughs> so I, Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's just been a very interesting conversation, and it just reinforces as well how um, the picture of who we are really drives what we do and it doesn't matter the size we are we see ourselves as confident if our self-esteem is not attached to our weight if we look at the fact that we're brilliant that we can shine that we can still achieve our goals that we can do whatever we set our minds to regardless of our size we can definitely live great lives because that confidence is so attractive Mm -hmm. and even from a love perspective Mm -hmm. that confidence is really uh, an attractive quality that a man absolutely desires and so I, I you know I just keep thinking that it's no different from any other woman I don't know why we put labels like you know the plus size because women who are not plus size have some of the very Definitely. same struggles they yeah. find men who believe that they should just idolize them because they're interested in the woman mm-hmm. they find situations where they think oh because it's like so many women and less men that women should be happy to have them as a companion. You have women who are slim, who have self-esteem issues as well, that stem back to their childhoods and um, they may have been bullied. And so I just see that we're just people. Definitely. We're just people having the same experiences. Yeah, it's true. And, and you know, what, what we it's, it, it just amazes me because no matter your size, no matter your race, no matter your color, you have some of very similar experiences and so yeah. we shouldn't we just shouldn't judge people yeah we just um, need to be kind yes just bring you the know, humanity back all. in human that's all that's it just yeah. bring some of the humanity we, we back. have to remember we are all yeah. even human when, yeah. yes even when persons are mean to you yeah you learn to be nice yeah. to them yeah. because like i said earlier persons have their own issues yeah. mm-hmm. and sometimes what you see is just a reflection of what they're yeah, going through that's right. Right. that's right and ladies as we wrap up this um this episode can you just give your advice to some beautiful woman who's sitting now watching you right now she could be small she could be average she could be plus size but just give her some encouragement to just own herself and to just rock who she is I'm going to start with you, Felicia. (laughs) I would say to you, beautiful young lady, mature lady, whoever you are, own who you are. Find a community of women who are going to journey with you, even when you have low moments, because you will not always be upbeat and confident. And even if that's a challenge for you, 
find persons who are going to help to bring out the confident woman in you and along with that also find out who you are yeah. when you discover yourself the world can't say anything that will cause you to detour from who you really are because you've already found who you are awesome. and for me i mean like felicia said it all so all i will say is once you find yourself Take the limits off. Awesome. Take the limits off. Yes. All of the things that are holding you back. And most times it's you. Yes. You are yes. holding yourself back. Yes. You are afraid. You are afraid to move forward. You're afraid of what people think. You're yes. afraid if you will fail. You're afraid if you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. How is my life going to change? Take the limits off. Wow. Take a step out. Take your shoes off and put your toe in the water. <laughs> and keep walking in yes. until it gets up to the knee. And yes. then you can dive in and swim. Yes. Just take the limits off your life. Yes. And be free to be who you are. And we're all journeying. We're all trying and striving to be better than we were yesterday. Yes. And that's great. But be kind to yourself. Yes. It is a journey. Yes. You're not going to accomplish everything in one day. And so you just take one day at a time, you celebrate your wins, and you just go for go wow. Go for your life. Wow. Go for your life. Ladies, thank you so very much for such a transparent mm -hmm. and moving episode. Thank you so much for being so open with your stories and really sharing how you've come through your journey as confident, beautiful, plus size women. I'm privileged to know you both. And I'm privileged that you are here with me today for this conversation. And to those of you who are watching in the comfort of your home, in your car, wherever you are, and you're tuned into this episode, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that the messages conveyed in this episode have really resonated with you. And if you're looking for a sisterhood, we have one for you. Mm -hmm. Just go right over to the power of her where you will find a sisterhood of women who are supportive, nurturing, and encouraging and will help you to achieve your dreams and your goals. We look forward to seeing you there. And thank you once again for watching Empowering Queens TV. Take care and be blessed.